I just went camping at Lake Pleasant and it was awesome. I can't wait to show you all the fun things there are to do there. Welcome back, I'm Lindsay with the Wise Move AZ team at Realty One Group. If you want to stay up to date on all things Anthem and real estate, then you need to hit that subscribe button. Pro tip, you're also going to want to hit the little bell icon so that you're the first to know when our new videos are posted every single Thursday. As your Anthem Arizona Realtor, I love showing off our community, but I also love showing off all the amazing things that are nearby. Anthem is perfectly situated just north of Phoenix, which means you can find some pretty amazing weekend getaways with very little driving. Lake Pleasant is one of those nearby escapes that you don't want to miss. Before I jump into all the fun things to do, let me give you a little bit of background. Lake Pleasant is overseen by Maricopa County Parks and Recreation. If you're coming from Anthem, it's only about a 30 minute drive. If you're coming from Central Phoenix, it may be closer to an hour. Lake Pleasant is a man-made lake created by the Waddell Dam. The dam was originally built in 1928 and the new Waddell Dam was built in 1993. The new dam increased the surface area of the lake to 10,000 acres. The lake receives most of its water from the Cap Canal and the Agua Fria River. Anyways, all that is just a long way of saying that this lake in the middle of the desert is really cool and you should definitely check it out. But what should you do when you get there? Well, over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you 10 family-friendly activities that you can enjoy at Lake Pleasant. Number one, hiking. We are big hikers. Okay, that's not really true. My husband's a big hiker and I just tag along and try to keep up. Most of the time, I'd rather be eating brunch, but don't tell him that, okay? Lake Pleasant has so many different hikes. These hikes are great for families and they range in length from 0.3 miles to 4.1 miles. I'll drop a link to the list of hikes at Lake Pleasant in the description box below. I'll also drop a link to our guide, 10 tips for hiking in the Sonoran Desert so that you can ensure you're safe and well-prepared before heading out. Number two, camping. Lake Pleasant features 148 sites for tent and RV camping. They have different types of campsites, including developed and semi-developed. The difference is that developed sites feature water, electricity, and a dump site in addition to the covered ramada, picnic table, barbecue grill, and fire ring. You can book campsites online in advance, but if you're like us and you leave it to the last second, you're going to have to drive out there and do first come first serve. I definitely recommend booking online in advance if you're hoping to camp over the weekend. Number three, visit the Discovery Center. This facility was closed when we visited, but it looks like it's a great way to learn a little bit more about the plants and animals that call this area home. Additionally, they're building a brand new playground next to the Discovery Center, so if you have kiddos, you'll definitely want to check that out when it's completed. Number four, have a picnic lunch. There are picnic tables and ramadas throughout the park available for day use. These are all first come, first serve. They feature lights, electrical outlets, large grills, and parking nearby, so your picnic can be as fancy as you'd like. Number five, mountain biking. I'm not much of a mountain biker, but we saw lots of people mountain biking when we were there, and it looks like there's trails for all different skill levels. Number six, fishing. The Arizona Game and Fish Commission keeps Lake Pleasant stocked and ready for fishing. They even host fishing tournaments at Lake Pleasant if that's your thing. Keep in mind, a fishing license is required to fish at Lake Pleasant. This can be obtained at most sporting goods stores or through the Arizona Game and Fish Commission. Number seven, eat at the restaurant. If picnicking isn't your thing, you may want to head down to the Scorpion Bay Marina where you'll find a really cute restaurant located right on the water. They also have a small general store right next door just in case you forgot your sunscreen, need a snack, or want a souvenir. Number eight, boating. No matter what kind of boating you're into, Lake Pleasant has got you covered. You can rent boats like pontoon boats, jet skis, kayaks, and more. Or if you're lucky enough to have your own boat, you can bring that too. If you're bringing your own boat, make sure you check out their website to ensure you're properly protecting your vessel from invasive species. There are two boat launch ramps at Lake Pleasant. One is four lane and the other is a 10 lane. Number nine, swimming. Lake Pleasant is the perfect place to beat the heat in the summer. You're welcome to swim, but please keep in mind that the water depth varies. Be sure to bring your floaties and protection from the sun. Number 10, see wildlife. This was hands down the coolest part of visiting Lake Pleasant for me. We had just finished our hike and we were about to head home when I looked down into the wash beside the road and spotted two wild burrows. They were so cute. There is a ton of wildlife at Lake Pleasant, so make sure you stay on the lookout and give lots of space. So there you have it, 10 activities for the whole family to check out at Lake Pleasant. If you're planning to head out to Lake Pleasant, there are just a couple of final things that you should keep in mind. At the time I'm recording this video, the fee is $7 per personal vehicle and there's an option to get an annual pass for $85. If you're camping, this fee is included in your campsite. 
The park is open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily and 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for camping. So what do you think? Will you be taking your family to Lake Pleasant? Let me know in the comment section below what activity you're most interested in. As promised, if you'd like a copy of our guide, 10 tips for hiking in the Sonoran Desert, simply click the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with your friends. See you next Thursday.